Hey guys, once again I am back with one of my new WordPress based video where I'm gonna show you how we can fix this kind of error message when you install WordPress on the domain name. So these days I'm receiving so many messages from my subscribers and my students that when they install WordPress on the domain name, everything goes good but when the installation complete and they open the domain name onto a new tab, they are getting this kind of error message. Your PHP installation appears to be missing the MySQL extension which is required by WordPress. So in this lecture, I'm gonna show you how we can fix this issue very quickly. But before going ahead, let's understand why exactly this kind of error message is appearing. Guys, these days, the latest version of PHP is available that is 7.3. So if your web server has the latest version of PHP, in that case, your WordPress do not support the latest version because still the WordPress has the outdated version. So due to this conflict, we get this kind of error message. So let's go ahead to your web hosting cPanel. This is my host cater cPanel. It doesn't matter as whatever the web hosting you have, you just need to log in into your cPanel and in the search box you need to type PHP. So you would be getting some kind of multi PHP manager or PHP version manager. Just go on to that option. So this is the page from where we can select the PHP version for our domain name or for our WordPress website. Let me scroll down. So this is my business web hosting. That's why there are so many domain name available. And that is the domain coupontape.com for which I'm getting this kind of error. That's coupontape.com. So let's go back and here I can select coupontape.com and then we can see here the PHP version is 7.0 that is currently applied. So here I can set it to inherit because I cannot find any PHP version that is below 7.0. So make sure in order to resolve the issue, you can assign the PHP version 5.6 or earlier than the PHP 7.0. Like right now for these three domains, I have the PHP version 5.6 applied. That's why it is working fine. So let's set here inherit. So it will automatically take 5.6 as the PHP version for my domain name that is coupontape.com. All you need to do is just set the PHP version below 7.0 in your hosting cPanel and then we can apply. One important message. This video has been sponsored by wpscratch.com. That's one of the best website which sells WordPress themes and plugins at around 90% discounted price. So if you guys are interested in purchasing WordPress themes and plugins, I mean the premium stuff, then you can simply go on to the wpscratch.com and purchase your stuff from there at the very huge discounted price. Now let's go back onto the domain and we can refresh it once again. Here we go. So you can see how easy it is to fix this issue. In case if you have any question, just leave your comments and if this video was helpful, please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you very much.